all right i'm john from bd it is the middle of summer it's scorching and there's nothing i like more in the scorching heat than stripping the under seal off cars yes There it is. All right, guys, here we are. We are on the spit, ready to blast. Now let's have a quick look around the car. Um, these panels here obviously need replacing. They are not the worst I've seen, but obviously they need doing properly. That's behind the rear wheel arch and uh, in front of the rear bumper. Okay, someone has not very well put a patch in here. So this area is gonna have to be cut out. This is a spare wheel well, okay, and done properly. Um, but I'll be honest guys, girls as well, you know. Um, it looks bad, but it's not. It's all surface corrosion. I've seen some terrible ones. Um, the good thing is, is the underseal on these is just so thick. So it's nothing that a sandblast won't sort out. The time consuming bit is gonna be removing a lot of this spray on sealer. So what we decided we're gonna do is we're gonna just remove it in the areas where it really needs removing. It's been on for 30 years. It's solid as a rock. So there's a few bits that need pulling out here and there. But I'm really impressed, to be honest. It's, um, hopefully, we're not, gonna, we're, we're not gonna blast the whole thing. We're just gonna blast the areas it need doing. But yeah, no, there we go. It's absolutely solid, it's just, surface corrosion I it's never it's never had any wax on it by the looks of it or anything and obviously we're going to do it properly i've seen him where these uh, strut tops are just completely missing yeah i've seen him where there's literally nothing here yeah you know like i say the worst areas are here oh, and it's up here as well you can't really see but yeah so we're going to crack on and get it done. We're gonna, we still got to remove all the front suspension, but it's just literally gonna drop off. And then we'll um, obviously blast and paint all these. We've got all new rod heads, this, that, and the other, and we'll do the hubs. Um, yeah. It's lovely, that's lovely. Right, okay, so where we're at is, we have removed all the front um, lower suspension arms and everything, and we've got the grinder with the slim wire wheel on, can you see that? Yeah, and what we've done is, is we've removed all the underseal. You can see how thick that stuff is. Look how thick that is, you know. So we've removed it all from anywhere there's any corrosion. Uh, obviously, it doesn't get rid of the corrosion. Uh, a lot of the time with wire wheels, what it does is it just t tends to polish it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sandblast this now. We're gonna sandblast these areas. And as you can see, can you see here or here? But sandblasting won't get rid of this, you see. It just tends to clog it all up and just just kind of it kind of melts it. So all this area is done on this side, ready for blasting, and I'm gonna get the other one done. As you can see all in here, just look. See what happens? It kind of like melts it and burns it. So it's got to come out before it gets blasted. Yep. Yeah. And boom! We're getting somewhere. So there's some sprayable seam sealer on the floor. It's, an, it's so thick and so hard to get through. You see, it's like a blooming nightmare. But this is why you do it. And I'll show you this is why we do it. For instance, here. We've gone through it all here. And when you get to here, Look at that, that's all below the seam seal that. You would never have seen that. And what would have happened is the floor would have started rotting and you wouldn't have even ever known. Before you know it, everything's gone. Here, here. And also we have a couple of little bits on the small center, center chassis rail bits here. Look at that. So that whole piece, someone's jacked, that's because someone's jacked it up there. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to make a new one of these. Um, 
apart from that, it's not too bad. Um, and obviously, this is all being removed just to get um, to get sandblasted afterwards because you can't get in places like that. And this is important, very important, because this is the structure of the car. Places like, can you see here the seam sealer here? You pull that back. But it's been on 30 years, you know. Take it back, do it properly. I don't think I'm going to remove the seam sealer from the entire underbody, just from where we think it's gone. You know, chassis rail there. Someone's sprayed some yak over that badly. And some areas like here. But these are coming off. It's all solid. And a wire wheel, this, this will show you these rear panels, these rear pieces. Um, as you can see, we wire wheeled it all back and people go, it's solid. Because it is, it's solid, look at that. But that's real metal and that's corroded metal. And once it goes black, you're done for. So take it out, unpick it, make a new panel and it'll be solid. A lot of places would just whiz that back, put a bit of Q rust on it and then spray a bit of, bit of old paint that they had lying around and then maybe a bit of wax oil. But... I want to keep this car. I want to want to keep this car for a long time. There's a piece in the uh, in the spare wheel well, but it was obviously some corrosion. So from the inside, they just welded in the panel. And look at the state. This is what happens when you get Joe Bloggs with his welder saying you can repair that. Look at the welding. It's shocking. So again, this is all going to be cut out, and we're going to make fabricate a new panel, flush weld it in. Boom, job done. So we've uh, removed all the spray seam sealer and then where we couldn't get it off with the uh, wire wheel, what we've done is, uh, we, me, uh, use the heat gun scrapers to get into all the corners. Um, day three now. And now we're going to turn the car on a spit so we can do the other side of it. Great. Right, so this is exactly, exactly why we do this. And this is why. Check that out. That is the steering rack mount, the main rack mount. And look at that. Someone's had to go welding it before. Look at that. Cracked, cracked and cracked all the way up the back. So now, the steering rack has to come out. It's fighting me, this car, in it, all the way. But, on a positive, this is why you do this. So you can find any inherent problems to get it sorted out. Happy Friday. <sighs> okay, so I'm just about to remove the steering rack. I have cracked off the bolts. I have to put some penetrating fluid in them. Penetrating. And I started to undo them, and you know the crack that we've seen there that actually runs all the way up behind, all the way around, and actually starting to enter the bulkhead there. Okay, so um, what I've noticed when I'm undoing it is, if you look, let's have a look. You see it's all moving, the whole lot's moving. Can you imagine how much strain that's under um, when your car's driving? So what I'm going to do before I remove the rack is now is, I'm just going to get the welder out and I'm just going to tack it in place. Nothing permanent, but just tack it. So when I undo this, everything stays in the right point. Last thing I want to do is be putting a rack on and off, on and off whilst welding. So tack it on, let me know it's in place, just to hold it in place. So when I remove the rack, we know the mount is in exactly the right place. Look at it go. And the steering rack is out. It's going to have a good clean. I'm going to put some new boots on it, go through, just check everything's fine. So that's sorted. And obviously the steering rack came out because the mount's cracked, isn't it? Yes. It just cracked a little bit, isn't it? Yes. Should have a look.
Right. So, this is my... I've just put some pigeon poo on here so it wasn't penetrating, just to hold it in place. So the crack started there and it ran all the way up there. All the way, all the way up here. Past the moons of Jupiter. All the way around here. Around here, around here. It's hard to see now, so I'm going to paint off. All the way around here. And started coming up here. Can you see to the bulkhead? And the reason that has happened is because there was a crack at the beginning, which was here, which someone's tried to have a go at, which has cracked all the way up the front as well, all the way up and around there. So, crack, 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 dodgy wells, Obviously that is dodgy well, but I've done that on purpose so we can get it off easy all the way around. To the point where this whole thing was moving, yeah? And, oh look, crack. Is this a weak point on a GT4s? Have you had this? What I have seen before is, um, on MK's website, is that they've had to, this has been a problem for welding. Uh, now, whether it cracks and then it lets water in, I don't know. That would make sense because it's not really in an exposed area. So, luckily, luckily we've got its sources. Um, whether it's repairable, it probably is, or whether we'd want to make a new piece, it's probably repairable. But anyway, it's all out and now... We're here again, aren't we? Let's get this inside. And we're here again because, <sighs> not covering a microphone, the steering rack's out and the pipes are out and the engine bay is looking scruffy. So now, the engine bay is getting stripped and fully painted. Why not? You know, got nothing better to do. Like, be a dad and run a business. Right, so here we are again, still taking stuff off the car. This is the left side, the near side, the passenger side, as we are in the UK. Like we spoke about before, battery tray is going to be going. But all the wiring's out, all the way down there. And then we've got to do the driver's side, which is an absolute kin nightmare. But I'm hoping that, I'm guessing, we'll find out in a bit, that the ABS can come out with a lot of the pipes still all attached to it. I know the ones that the brakes have to come off. But, um, and then all the power steering lines can come out and then the electrics can come out of here because I've pulled all the loom across from here. And yeah, all these modules off the back have gone. Everything's labelled up as well. Uh, keep that one just before I label it. And this is where we're at. And this has been another big decision for me. Hi. And let's go and have a tea. And yeah, this has escalated once again, hasn't it? And it's basically escalated to the point where now this is a full restoration of this car. The only thing that's not being removed is probably gonna be the, in the wiring loom from inside the car, from inside the cockpit and the dashboard. Everything else is coming out and Obviously, then the car's going to be fully painted, repaired, whatever. But I'm not just going to bolt everything back in willy-nilly. Everything's going to be refurbed, so everything's going to be restored. Every bracket, every nut, every bolt's going to be zinc-plated. So this is becoming a full restoration in the fact that I've decided that... I think I want it to be one of the best ST185s in the country. Um... Obviously, it's not going to be completely original, as we've discussed with like 
the front mount intercooler, the engine modifications and all that, suspension wheels, but I want it to be one of the cleanest ones um, as a tractor goes by. Cheers. Didn't wait for me to start recording. Um, yeah. I'm not saying it's going to be the nicest because I'm sure there's some lovely ones out there. And if there are, send me some links in the comments so I can have a look. But, you know, I can't go to this extreme and cut any corners. So that's where we're at. And I suppose in a way it's good for you if you're bothered because it's going to mean more episodes. And, um, and also there's another couple of projects up and coming. We'll say projects. Actually, there's a customer's car coming in and that is an R34 Skyline. That's a GTT, I believe. And I think he's having GTR rear quarters put on and a full, re a full restoration glass out. So that's going to be another build series going on. Everything. So there's loads going on. So um, yeah. We're still taking stuff off the car and it is 12 months on from getting the car. But I'd say we'll get there in the end. I've got no idea where the end is, but I'd say we're nearly 40% through the process, 50%. So take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.